Hey, what's up students? It is Thursday, May the 9th, and this is our Thursday updates. Um, I am glad that all of you that came last night were able to be here. Those that weren't, give you a little bit of update of what we talked about. Um, basically, we started by talking about Superman and his alter identity of Clark Kent, uh, and how Clark Kent is kind of the human regular version, and that Superman is the great big version. And we use that to talk about Jesus and how we've heard this thought that Jesus is, he has this duality to him, that he's both fully human, but he's also fully God. Uh, and that's something that kind of confuses us at times. Um, so we kind of unpacked that a little bit and looked at, you know, what if Jesus was just a man? What would he be missing? And obviously there was that salvation part of it. If he's just a man, um, then he's not God. So he doesn't have all of those great qualities. Um, but then we looked at what if he was just God? Uh, and what if it was just about the salvation? And we didn't have those reminders that Jesus lived through what we did and he experienced feelings and he experienced fears and he experienced pain and he experienced suffering. That that is an encouragement to us and we need both of those together. Okay, so we looked at two different stories in scripture, both from the gospel of Mark. One of them was a Mark and sandwich, which was something we talked about last week. Basically, it's a story that's sandwiched between two bookend things. Uh, and it kind of points that that middle part is kind of a meat uh, section. And they are used and you can read them together to get some clues and insights. So we looked at the story of when, first of all, Jesus cursed the fig tree and then they came back to the fig tree. And in between, he went in and he um, got onto the people in the temple because they were doing it all wrong. They were exchanging money and selling and exploiting people. Well, we saw that Jesus was hungry and he saw this fig tree and then he cursed it because it didn't have figs. And we laughed because we kind of thought, well, is this a moment of Jesus being cranky? It kind of felt like that. Looked a little bit like the Snickers commercial. Uh, Jesus, eat a Snickers. Get a little cranky when you're hungry. So we talked about that. But then we realized that this temple story is connected and that this tree is kind of a symbol for the, the, the temple, not having what, it, what, what you want, what you come to it for. Um, and so we saw this God aspect of Jesus, first of all, in the foreknowledge of him knowing that the temple was coming. And so there's this tree that's set aside that is an example. It's a teachable moment, and they come back to it even. Uh, not to mention just the fact that Jesus is able to curse a tree, and what he says, what he curses, it's actually done. So there's that God aspect. Then we looked more at the humanity of Jesus, and we looked at where he prays in the Garden of Gethsemane. And one of the things that we thought was cool was that he truly has this sense of fear here, where he's like, I am uncertain. And that's really cool for us because we have that feeling. He even says the phrase, my spirit is willing, but my body is weak. And we, we talked about that. And I remember Sydney, uh, Sydney Garrett said that um, that is a common thought when maybe you want to clean the house. You really want to clean your house because there's dust everywhere. Papers are piling up. You're embarrassed by what your house looks like. But when it comes time to do it, instead of doing all that work, your body just wants to sit on the couch watch a TV show, drink a soda. So that was a great example. And we were encouraged by the fact that Jesus went through those feelings too, just like we do. Uh, so that's kind of where our lesson went. Hey, we got a lot of things coming up. First of all, this Friday night is prom. North Haven prom, it's the history of prom. So we're gonna go through music from all different decades. Uh, seven to eight is dinner. Uh, if you are helping with that, um, you'll be getting fundraising money, which is really, really cool. A lot of fun. It'll help you get to camp and do some of the other things we're going to do in the summer. Um, but eight to ten is the dance. So even if you weren't wanting to do the fundraising part, um, you could just come for the eight to ten part and have fun. We're going to have music playing. We're going to have uh, punch. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and we want you to be there. Uh, and you can bring friends and it's going to be a fun night for all involved. Um, also on the docket coming up, we have a lock-in the last day of school. That Friday that you get out, we will be right here at North Haven Church, absolutely free, 7 p.m. to 10 a.m. the next morning. This is another thing. You can bring as many friends to it as you want. You're just going to need to sign up the Wednesday before school is out so that I know you're coming so that I can plan accordingly. It's going to be lots of fun. Hey, we're going to do a trivia, and it's going to be related to the prom this week. Um, and that being said, first of all, it's going to be for five raffle tickets in our raffle at the prom, which there are various different items that you could win, and you can go in and you can put those tickets in the ones that you like, that you want. Uh, so you'll definitely want to try to win this game. It's going to be a little tricky, but I think you can do it. I'm going to ask you, what was the number one billboard hit, that is a song, 
this week, the year I was born. There's a little bit of knowledge that's needed. You can try to do the math. I'll tell you I'm 30 years old, so maybe that helps you. What was the number one Billboard hit this week, the year I was born? Hey, thank you for tuning in to Thursday Updates. I'm really glad that you were watching it. Share this with your friends. Put it on your social media accounts. Tell people about it. I would love for them to know what we're doing at North Haven Student Ministry. Cool. See y'all later.